Hello everyone, this is Angshuman and welcome to another video of Agla Sim School. So students, today we are going to discuss the solution for chapter 7 of NCRT class 7 science book that is weather, climate and adaptations to climate. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter briefly. So let's begin with weather. What is weather? Weather is the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place influenced by factors like humidity, temperature, wind speed, etc. And climate is the average weather condition of a place over a longer period of time. The factors affecting climate are topography or the shape of the land, sea level, ocean currents, prevailing winds and human influences. Now if we talk about adaptations to climate, adaptation is the ability of animals to adjust itself with its habitat. If we classify the regions according to their habitats, then there are three types of habitats. Those are 1. Polar region, 2. Tropical rainforest and 3. Deserts. So let's now talk about polar regions. Polar regions. They have extremely cold climate and covered with snow for most parts of the year. Tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests which generally have hot climate due to its location close to the equator but have plenty of rainfall and water. Deserts. Deserts have extremely hot climate and rainfall is very low in this region. So friends, this was all in this chapter. Now let's discuss the solutions for the same. Moving to question number one. Name the elements that determine the weather of a place. And the answer to it will be the elements that determine the weather of a place are temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind speed. Moving to question number two. When are the maximum and minimum temperatures likely to occur during the day? And the answer to it will be the maximum temperature of the day occurs in the afternoon while the minimum temperature occurs early in the morning. Now let's see question number 3 which is fill in the blanks. Bit 1. The average weather taken over a long time is called dash and the answer to it will be the average weather taken over a long time is called climate. Moving to bit 2, a place receives very little rainfall and the temperature is higher throughout the year. The climate of the place will be dash and dash and the answer to it will be hot and dry. Bit 3, the two regions of the earth with extreme climate conditions are dash and dash and the answer to it be the polar region and the tropical region. Now moving to question number 4. Indicate the type of climate of the following areas. A. Jammu and Kashmir. And the answer to it will be moderately hot and wet. B. Kerala. Hot and wet. C. Rajasthan. This is also hot and dry. And D. North East India. That is wet. Now moving to question number 5. Which of the two changes frequently, weather or climate? And the answer to it will be weather changes frequently. Now let's see question number 6. Following are some of the characteristics of animals. 1. Diets heavy on fruit. 2. White fur. 3. Need to migrate. 4. Loud voice. 5. Sticky pits on feet. 6. Layers of fat under skin and 7 wide and large paws 8 bright colors 9 strong tail and 10 long and large beak for each characteristics indicate whether it is adaptation for tropical rainforests or polar regions do you think that some of these characteristics can be adapted for both regions and the answer to it will be one that's heavy on fruits for tropical rainforests 2. White fur, polar regions. 3. Need to migrate, polar regions. 4. Loud voice, tropical rainforests. 5. Sticky pets on feet, tropical rainforests. 6. Layers of fat and skin, polar regions. 7. Wide and large pores, polar region. 8. Bright colors, tropical rainforests. 9. Strong tails. Tropical rainforest and 10 long and large big tropical rainforest. Now moving to question number 7. The tropical rainforest has a large population of animals. 
explain why it is so? Then the answer to it will be the climate of tropical rainforest is generally hot and humid with continuous rain. These hospitable climate conditions support huge populations of plants and animals. Now let's see question number 8. Explain with examples why we find animals of certain kind living in particular climate conditions. And the answer to it will be certain kind of animals can be found in particular climatic conditions as they can adapt well to those climatic conditions. For example, a polar bear is adapted for polar reasons. It has to be thick skin and a layer of fat to keep it warm in cold conditions. However, this adaptation, it will not be possible for it to survive in tropical regions where it is hot. Similarly, a monkey is adapted to live in the forest with features such as long and steady tail, loud voice, etc. These features are of no importance in polar regions where vegetation is very less. Therefore, certain type of animals live only in certain climatic conditions. Now let's see question number 9. How do elephants living in the tropical rainforest adapt itself? And the answer to it will be an important and widely found animal of Indian tropical rainforest is the elephant. It has adapted remarkably to the conditions of this region. Some of the adaptations are as follows. 1. It uses its trunk as nose so that it has a strong sense of smell. 2. Its trunk is also used for picking up food. 3. Its tusks are used to tear bark of the trees. It can eat barks of trees. 4. The soles of their feet are covered with thick pads. These pads can handle their enormous weight. They also prevent sound so that the elephant can move silently. 5. Its large ears have strong sense of hearing. Now moving to question number 10. Choose the correct option which answers the following questions. A carnivore with stripes of its body moves very fast while catching its prey. It is likely to be found 1. Polar regions 2. Deserts 3. Oceans or 4. Tropical rainforests And the answer will be 4. Tropical rainforests. Now let's see question number 11. Which features adapt polar bears to live in extremely cold climate? And the options are 1. A white fur, fat below skin, keen sense of smell. 2. Thin skin, large eyes and a white fur. 3. A long tail, strong claws, white large paws. 4. White body, paws for swimming, gills for respiration. And the answer to it will be 1. A white fur, fat below skin and keen sense of smell. Now moving to question number 12. Which is the last question for this chapter. Which options best describe a tropical region? 1. Hot and humid. 2. Moderate temperature and heavy rainfall. 3. Cold and humid. Or 4. Hot and dry. And the answer to it will be 1. Hot and humid. So students, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked this video. And if you did, then do not forget to like it and share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe our channel for more such NCRT videos. If you still have any doubt regarding this chapter, then you can let us know by writing in the comment section below. We will surely get back to you. See you again. Till then, bye-bye. Uh, uh.